Hello and welcome. My name is Myra. I thank you for stopping. The other day when I was heading to work, which is always early in the morning because I start at seven, I came down the steps to go out the door and I realized I had a problem. My Monstera had taken a tumble. Let me show you. The black stand behind her, you can see is where she fell from. So it was quite a fall. Sadly, I just had to prop her up best I could so that I can head out the door. So as you can see, I picked her up the best I could, but I had to keep it moving. I couldn't do anything about it right then. Today I'm off. So today I'm going to repot her. The goal is to get her into a heavier pot, a little bit bigger, but the pot the roots are not coming out of the bottom. I actually uh, put her into this plastic one about a year ago. So she hasn't quite outgrown it. Where she sits is in the back of the dining room. So this is her here. And you can see she shares a space with some of the other plants, but she's not really in an area where she gets a lot of light. She has lived in this area for many years because when I got her, I literally picked her up at my arm, carried her out of the big box store. Now she's up to my shoulder height. So you see, she has grown in the years that I've had her. However, I need to do better so that she does not take another fall. Okay, so I just propped it up with some newspaper because I didn't want it to come tipping again. So it was to give it a little bit of an angle. She lives in the dining room, which is where we are right now. She lives next to my scandapsis. I have a couple um, little terranium plants. When she fell, the lid broke because she fell, hit the lid, it flipped off. So now I have to get a new lid for that terranium. And then if you've seen the El Exotics unboxing video, there's one of the Takas right there. So a little bit dry looking because I'm not providing her with humidity. However, I'm still doing well. So let me focus back on the Monstera so you can see what damage she has. You can still see there are a few limbs that broke. I haven't had the heart to just cut off those leaves, but I will do that today. And I'll deal with the stakes that I had just to get everything looking better and to do a better job. I'm actually in the middle of changing the table. So I figured while I don't have a tablecloth on there, I better put down some plastic, which is what I've got over here. And I have this new pot. I actually got it for about 10 bucks. Um, when I was out thrifting, it's heavy. So that's the goal, heavy pot so that the monstera does not continue to topple. So let me get her up on the table and let's get started. And because it's dry, it's not heavy. All of this, oh, I had to put my plastic out. All right, so I laid her down take my velcros off I'm gonna see if from the top if I could slide my moss poles out see if I could slide this one out of the way as well so I'm gonna see If she'll just slide out of her pot without, yep, yep, there she goes. I'm just gonna see, okay. So let me show you what her roots are looking like since she's been in this pot for the last year. All right, so this is what the roots are looking like. And this is about one year's growth. And you can see when she fell, this is the side that she took the hit on the worst because here's where most of her broken stems are. So 
And then on the sides here, a lot of the dirt is just coming off. So it looks like the roots grew downward and around, but on the sides, it just doesn't seem like they came sideways. All right, so I'm not gonna be able to lift her because she doesn't have her support. But I just wanna see if I can get some of the other loose dirt so I can see where she is. And just to get the bottom, just teasing it, not being rough with it, just literally tickling it to see what I can get that's loose. Okay, I'm gonna set her back down, gentle, gentle. Trying to be mindful of the way that the leaves are folding. So just looking at the leaves. So now that I'm taking a closer look at the size of the roots and the size of the pot, I'm questioning and I'm thinking I need to go get actually a bigger pot. Okay, so I went in the garage and got this pot. This is actually one of my thrift store finds. I paid a dollar for this pot. It was on clearance. I don't know how long it'd been there, but it was to the point of being on clearance. So I am just putting dirt at the bottom. Just breaking up the dry dirt. Add some bark. And I'm just looking here because I don't like that ring form. The last time when I repotted it, it was much worse than this. It was pretty bad. It was completely white on the outside. But you can see here on the side, it was like this and now it has grown this bottom shape here and there you go that's what I'm trying to do there just trying to open it up there we go some of the roots are gonna end up getting lost but the goal there we go there we go is to just help them so that they're not, there we go, trying to be gentle, all stuck in that formation. I'm not gonna do a lot of manipulation on it. Okay, all right. So I'm happy I've got a couple inches of dirt in the bottom. And I'm just building up the sides. Okay. All right. So we're now gonna lift it, put it in and see how it's gonna do because I have to put the pole back in. I don't know if I'm gonna do two again or just one, I have to see because it's one plant that I bought, but I think there's two that are coming out of it. So, all right, Leva. All right, hold it straight up because I want the roots. Yep, 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 okay. Hold that one, thank you. Okay, so hold her there. Uh, let's see, I want to get all these in. I'm going to shift the whole plant towards you. Let's lift her a little. Right. Yes, okay, but watch the branches too. Okay, support the branch. And I'll take charge of these roots.
Are you okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to rotate. So what I like to do is before I put all the dirt in to get my pole in there. All right, so that pole, I just wanna see if it's in a good position to really support these. Let's see, where do I wanna go this way with it? I may go this way with it. All right, so I'm gonna let that just sit there. Okay. I'm gonna bring the other pole in. And All right, so I rotated a little. I'm just trying to finish getting all the dirt that's on the table because I'm putting that back in there. And then I've got new dirt, more dirt. That I'm gonna fill in. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is try to rotate her. Do it in the sections. What I don't like is that it's tipping. It's got that back tipping. Let's see, I gotta see if I can get it. here because she goes so far forward and that's part of the problem so I like this one because now it's going back yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these ones so now that all of these have broken from this side I'm thinking it's gonna have a new front all right, so these broken ones, looking to see how many are broken off of here. Okay. This little one's broken too. I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. So all of these on this side pretty much either broke off or I just finished taking off. And then some damage on these leaves over here. But that side seemed to be unaffected. So I'm thinking maybe doing something different as far as position. Hmm. To cut and propagate or to not cut and propagate. I'm just looking to see how many of these. So if I cut it here. All right, guys, I think I'm going to do it. I think I am going to cut it here because that'll give me a couple nodes to work with. Oh, all right. So this, I'm going to get in water. It's really big, but so then this pole, I'm not going to leave here. And I have to try to find the, the front of the plant now because now it's completely changed its appearance. So I just want to untangle some of the stems. Merlin, you okay? Let me let Merlin out. This is out time. 
Okay, so I'm trying to see. I think I like this being the new front. And Merlin's ready to come in. That's little Merlin. Oh, what does he have? Merlin then brought me something home. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm satisfied with this being the new front. I am going to put some Velcros on there. Let's see. I'm looking to see where to secure to try to give it stability because she has already fallen and she deserves to be stable. So that one's good. Now this one here, I'll secure this limb here. And I'm just using the same ones that I had cut before. I put, there is a soft side and then the Velcro side. I'm putting the soft side on the plant around and then the Velcro on the outside, just because if it rubs as it grows, I don't want it to give it friction. So, hooking that on. Okay, and let's see. So this one here needs, let's see that one there. This one's hooked here, this one's here. And then this last piece of Velcro, I'm just looking, I guess I'll do this last leaf here. All right, and I think this is how it's gonna be. It's got a new front due to the damage that happened to the side. I'm gonna take these away so you can see the plant. I have to water her thoroughly because part of it was she was dry. And you'll see the leaves are floppy. So I'm gonna water her today and then tomorrow, I will show you what she looks like once she is fully hydrated. So all these are floppy, cause usually they're upright. Like this one's a little more upright, hasn't had the effects of dehydration yet. All right, so now just to figure out what side is the side I want it to sit on. But I'm not gonna put it up as high as it was before because I don't want it to have a long fall if it were to fall, even though with this new pot, I am confident it's not gonna tip the way it'd been tipping. Hey, Marilyn. All right, so let me put the camera down so that I can. Okay, so this is the front of her now. So this is, and I did switch places with the skindapsis just because it makes better sense and for the flow, that way when the dining room table, I move it back, it is in a better spot. So I think I'm happy with her here. She lives next to the green leaf philodendron. So that's it for my Monstera repot. We went from Monstera mess to Monstera marvelous. I thank you for stopping. Please like and subscribe.